Um, so hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I did ha access to humanities, and next year I'm going on to study history, sociology with professional education. Hi, I'm Princess, a student of access to humanities. I'm going to study social sciences in Glasgow Caledonian. Uh, hi, my name is Patricia. I'm a student from Access to Humanities. I'm going to study psychology. I'm Rachel and I am going to study history with History of Art next year at Glasgow. So, who want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, can, I can talk. Um, I actually, I, I, was, I was upset. <laughs> to be honest, I think the first day when we started online learning and um, I had kids running about and I was so used to being in class um, and I, I, I cried, I actually got really upset um, just because I'd been so used to being in the classroom and I didn't know how I was going to work my time at home. Um, so I get pretty um, distant from it. I, I thought there's no way I'm going to be able to do this. And then I kind of came to the realisation we're all in the same boat. We all need to do it. I'm just going to need to find the time. So I started um, just finding time when the kids were out playing or um, when they were settled doing something. I would log on for like a wee half an hour here and an hour there, especially at night time. Um, I, got a lot, I got a lot of catching up work done at night. Um, but I just realised in myself that during the day when I was usually at class, I wasn't going to be able to do that at the same time at home because I had other things to deal with. Um, so it was just juggling about my time and um, setting down new times for doing things. Um, like, as I said, when the kids were settled and doing other things, that was when I was able to log on and have a bit of peace and do my work. So uh, I just adjusted to a new way of learning, which it wasn't actually that difficult. Once I got in there, it was fine. It was just the, the first kind of a week um, not having that class time and just having to do it myself. Um, but after the, after about a week of uh, realising it's not going to change, I need to do it at home, um, I started getting into a better routine and managing my time a lot better. Yeah. Oh, that's, that, that's great. Uh, I, I don't have a kids, so for me it was a little bit easier. I think the first week, as Lizzie said, it was the most difficult one because it was this transition from going the online, from face to face time to going online. I think what much helped me is me as a as a person who don't have a kid. So get up in the morning and do the college routine. So start the laptop at nine o'clock and just do some work with the breaks. Of course, I think the most difficult what was was a group chat when we had a texting messages. I think that there where we failed. If if I would recommend for a, rec for a group in the second year, I would say to go for a voice chat and do most of the work through the voice chat if, 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 if th there is a work group, uh, because it makes much, much easier. Yeah, rather than just typing, isn't it? Yes, yes, it's much easier to have a voice chat. Look, you remember, Princess, how much we accomplished in a contemporary from just one voice chat, what yeah. we had. Yeah. yeah. So I think that sometimes messages can be read wrongly. Yes. Not the way you, the way you're writing it is different, but somebody can read it and interpret it in a different way. So the voice chat is really, really good. Yes, princess, I agree completely with that. So I think that the keeping the routine, it's very, very helpful. Would be very helpful for anyone who who don't have a kid or other responsibilities, of course. Uh, and the Pomodoro uh, method, just just sit to that, push yourself and just 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 work through it. The first week is the, the most challenging, the most challenging. And the later is getting much, much easier. You're getting used to it, to the new situation. So, yeah, I think I think prioritizing tasks as well oh, um, yes. with the EBC that we learned. So E means urgent and B you know, it needs done and see not so urgent so I think prioritizing your tasks as well so you're not um just doing the stuff that doesn't need done to like two weeks or three weeks you're, you're looking at the stuff that's immediate and 
you're dealing with that stuff first. Yes, so I think like prioritising the, the, the task that you need to do. And as well, as you said, I think like, the Zoom meetings would be good, like maybe like weekly Zoom meetings with your classmates, yeah. um, just to see how they're getting on and, and chatting. That would be a lot better. As We had a WhatsApp group, which was fine because we actually seen each other in class. Um, <clears throat> but being able to see each other face to face and like, setting up a Zoom meeting would be a great idea just to see how other people are getting on and what, how are you getting on with this or what have you done this year or have you, do you know the general chat that we do have in college you know, at lunchtime and things like that I think the Zoom meetings would be good um, to have within um, the class the classmates for this year would really help. Yeah, is the community kind of thing. Yeah, it would be Teams instead of Zoom, but yeah, you're right, you know, that kind of face-to-face, uh, -face, uh, just chatting, not not really having a task to accomplish, but just talking to each other. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 correct. Yeah, that would help also, just to get on with the colleagues and with the with the teammate, with the colleagues from class. Yeah, that, that that's true. Rachel, you wanted to say something? Um, I just uh, personally for me, um, I, I like um, like Patricia brought up young kids, so I um, was initially pretty panicky, but I feel like actually still keeping to the college kind of office hours if you want was was the most helpful thing. Um, and <clears throat> like like in like the class was sitting there, I also miss the class having the class, you know, just for chatting and it made you feel like you were on your own a wee bit. I think. Um, yeah, that's uh, if it was for columns, phone calls and stuff like that, you know, it would have been a bit harder. But I feel like keeping engaged is a big part as well because it's so easy to just kind of drift away, you know. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I think is quite important is um, when you get, you know, when you're getting your slides and your presentations that you're going to need to watch alone on your laptop and when you're looking at them, um, Obviously, during class time, the lecturer will start and stop to ask questions and you'll be like, oh, what does that mean or whatever? So I feel as if um, you really need to write down questions that you want to ask when you're reading the presentation so you can speak to the lecturer afterwards and send them an email and say, when you were talking about this part, what did you mean? And so that's really important because other than that, it could just, some, some bits will go over your head and you, you don't get the opportunity to stop and ask the teacher at that, the lecturer at that point. So it is a good idea um, when you're when you're looking through your slides or when you're looking through the, the online presentations that you've got to take notes throughout so that at the end of it you can email. Or, yeah, you were talking about this part. What did that mean? Or any questions you want to ask about it? Because it, it will intern, it will help internalise what you've just learned a lot better. Okay, um, probably we have all talked about like the negative or the challenges. We I have some, I had some challenges as well, but I want to focus a little bit more on the positive because <laughs> <laughs> honestly, there was, there's definitely no replacement for any direct human interaction at all. But as our le lecturers, as the students, and me for myself as a parent as well. We all work together to make this transition into online learning quite, uh, should I call it a co collaborative effort? We all work together. And even when I was feeling so lonely, I missed everybody. Like I love sitting down with us during our lunch time, but I look forward to us just having that, that sometimes chatting online. And then the comfort of my home, learning from the comfort of my home. I'm knowing I work night shift as well. I'm richer. You now understand probably now you work night shift. <laughs> and coming back, and you know, I don't need to rush to class. Maybe I can have my shower and not, I won't be here nine o'clock to join the class. Maybe I may come in at 9.30 or, and everybody was understanding. And sometimes I'll come and online, I'll see, oh, it's okay, Princess will join us at 9.30, she was working. So everybody became understanding, even when probably I'm not working, they'll say, oh, maybe she was working, I'll just take my time. <laughs> it, was, it, was quite, it was quite all right as well to learn from the comfort of my home. And as a parent as well, I at first, at the beginning, I was finding it difficult to cope with being a student and being a teacher as well. I had to, I had that Nigerian mentality, study, 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 study. <laughs> I, my, I had to get my children up at nine o'clock. You must do this and I want them to stay there till three. 
But then when we had the chat with my oh. group, they now told me, come on, you need to calm down. And I was, I felt better because I had to incorporate other things and we learned through different ways. So, yeah, so I kind of found the positive in it. So, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, the, there is definitely positives about it. Um, there is definitely positives. I, I feel a positive is when when you're in the classroom, the, the lecturer will, will, will see what they have to say about whatever subject they're studying at the time. And that lesson's, and that lesson's done. Um, whereas if you've got the slides in the presentation, you can literally look over that again and again and again. So it, you can watch it as many times as you want and listen to it how many other times you want. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that is a positive. Yeah. yeah, I I also saw a positive one as a opportunity to uh, exercise the study on your our own time. The university cons uh, at the university we we gonna have a lot of our own time to study, not so much contact time as in a college. So it's actually a, like a preparing for a university for a future future higher education because. It's, it's going to be most of it online so it's, it's like an exercise for the net for the future i saw it like that later yeah. and you see like call them most times you share or even amy they will share the the video and the reference links before the class to give us like time that we can study it mustn't be that particular day let's say we're having class on monday Maybe Colin might have put the stuff in by Friday, giving us time. If you have free weekend, you can just have a, a glance through. So mm -hmm. which was, which was, it, it gave us a window for preparation and which was quite good as well. And as Lindsay said earlier, you needed to have prior, prioritize your stuff. You said time, okay, this one is more important. I need to get this done now. Or this one probably, okay, yeah, I can do this maybe tomorrow. And that one, oh, that can be done next month. You know, if you can <laughs> prioritize everything, so that actually worked well. I think the 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 first the first what I had the most problem with, I I did it as first, like contemporary issues. It it wasn't so much my interest, coffee or or the subject, the topic, the the challenge itself it was because it was a research and learning new stuff but it's itself it's not my topic so i did it as a first and upsal psychology i did as a last because i really like it and i'm learning faster things i like the things i don't like so much so i think the first should go things what are big are bringing the most most trouble in my opinion yeah, I think the, also the lecturers are great. We got a lot of great support, and yes. it's always going to be there and help you understand anything. So, if there's any question, it doesn't matter if it seems trivial or silly. Anything that give you a better understanding of what you've just read or listened to, um, to help you internalise it, um, ask because you will get a comprehensive answer, and then you'll be able to move on. And that's yeah. what they're there for. Yeah, I agree. And self motivation as well. Yeah, and no procrastination. Do yeah. not yeah. say, I'll do it later. That is the number one. It's a if never. You've got time, do it. Just do it and get it done. Yes, I agree with that. Procrastination is where the online studies is the is the, the worst one, what you need to fight with. Definitely. To, yeah. 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 Um, can Definitely. I just say off the back of that as well, like you guys are saying, you know, if you don't do something, just do it now and all that, like, I have anxiety, you know, so see if I would be like, you know, maybe feel like I've slacked for a day, I feel like it's important not to put too much pressure on yourself, because if I had maybe not done everything that I'd planned to do in a day, you know, I would feel really bad about it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Make me, make me feel worse for the next day, you know, and I just... No, that, like, that's you know, a big thing. Stop putting pressure on yourself, do you know what I mean, because you'll get there no, in the end, don't. obviously we did. No, as I said, yeah, if you don't I do agree. everything one day, you'll catch up. Like, don't don't stress about it at all. Uh, it's important, important to remember because that. Definitely important, because if you feel as if you've not done enough that day, I can guarantee there'll be more than you that's not just done enough that day. 
there'll be four, five, six days that's, that's said, do you know what, I never even got to look at this today, but I'll do it, I'm going to do it tonight when I'm back from work or I've stopped dealing with the kids or whatever. You you will get it done though, because it's not, it's man, it is completely, that is manageable, it is manageable. Yeah, uh, yes, I've I mean, got four it's kids that much, and it's manageable. Exactly. Um, but definitely don't stress about um, things that you haven't done or you never got enough done that day because you will get it done the next day. Yeah. So don't beat yourself about it, definitely not. Your mental health is number one priority, all times. Well, um, I, I won't lie, initially, the, when I first, the, the good thing about the people who are coming on this year is at least they know what to expect, whereas we us, it was kind of dropped on us one minute we were in the class and then the next minute we were not in the class and the panic, it, it sets in pretty easy. But I feel like Colm, speaking to Colm every week was such a big help. He was so reassuring, like all the guys on teams were like all the teachers, but Colm in particular, you know, just keeping engaged with him and telling him how you're feeling, it t takes some, so much of the load off. Um, it would have been so easy just to say, Colm, you know, I'm feeling fine or whatever, and that would have been it, and he's not to know that I don't feel fine, but admitting that I wasn't feeling as good to him was good, because then he can give you the reassurance, then he can give you the help that you need, and, and I feel like that is so important. Yeah. Yeah. I think speaking to lecturer, if you have any issues, any concerns, or you struggle with anything, speak to the lecturer about anything you, you struggle with. I think that's really helpful because there are professionals who knows the who knows the ways who, who, who deal with this kind of issues before and they can really, really help with anything. So I think that's the mm -hmm. most important if it's going to about mental mental health. You know, and I remember when we were having to work on our contemporary issues, I, at the beginning of this thing, I lost three friends in a day. I could not, I couldn't say I was struggling. And I had, I had peace writing it down on my, you know, on my notes, that book that we're writing for Amy. I felt like that was my diary. Although I had to do it, I just write, dear diary, how am I going to cope? How am I going to do this? So I found writing it down helped me. And when I wanted to type it out, I was like, should I type this out to Amy? Should I do this or not? So I said, you know what? I can paraphrase it. I just wrote, I lost three friends. And it made me feel a lot better. Then I now sent it to my, on the WhatsApp team. I said, I lost three friends. I felt better saying it out. So probably what we can advise if you're struggling, if you're finding things difficult or you feel you can't cope, write it down. And then when you have opportunity of speaking to your lecturer or maybe a fellow student, you can say it out. It, it actually does help. And I'm so glad that Rachel finds it so comforting speaking out because honestly, I felt a lot better as in just speaking out the way I was because I was really down. I felt like I couldn't breathe, I couldn't cope. And then later on, my brother now caught COVID-19. I was like, what's going on? How am I going to cope with this? But I felt a lot better speaking it out. So probably writing it down, speaking it out, it actually helps with our mental health. Yeah. Yeah. I think your classmates can kind of help you in that respect as well. I know that um, when I was, I was struggling with the contemporary issues, um, I had mentioned, no, I don't think struggling is more the word more than panicking. Um, I had spoken to my group about it and Neil in particular, you know, was quite reassuring and don't worry, you know, we'll get things done, blah, blah, blah. So I don't know if that will be helpful because I realise that people next year won't know their classmates as well. Um, but I found that le leaning on them in particular <coughs> with my group and contemporary issues was really helpful also. We had yeah. this advantage that we knew each other from the mm. from the beginning. Yeah, that was uh, a very good advantage for us. Yeah. Yes, yes. And the new guys not gonna have this disadvantage. So I think maybe to organize introduction day so they can yeah. all meet up together and just have a chat, introduce e each other and get to know each other. So they can have also some contact with with each other like we had and yeah, support each other because we always me. yes we always support each other in the class during the lunch breaks we, we chat about our issues <laughs> and problems so i think that was 
really, really helpful to go through the year because you knew that you are not alone struggling with the assessments or panicking attacks or anxieties. Then you know, hey, guys are also going through the same. So we are all, like Lindsay said, we are all in the same boat. So that's feeling of support. And I think it's also very important because our classmates, you are often with them. And I think that's very helpful. At least for me, it was helpful.